Well, guess what, guys? Things in Hong Kong are pretty messed up with this extradition law. We have protests almost every single week. It's becoming more and more violent, and that worries me a lot. Well, just last week, there was a group of people dressed in white shirt. They barged into the MTR station and beat the living shit out of the people inside. And the worst thing is, the emergency call center was completely dead. No one could reach the cops. No one could file a report. Just what the f*** is going on with Hong Kong these days? It's pretty sad to see Hong Kong being so divided. It all started out with people marching out against the extradition. Law. So eventually the government backed down, saying the bill is dead. But the question is, do we trust our government? Obviously, if we were to trust our government, we wouldn't be having more protests, right? Okay, before I go further, I want to clarify one thing. We don't like politics. It's confusing as f so call me an idiot because I find it to be really confusing. Okay, so Hong Kong is one country, two systems. So why do we still need this extradition law if it's under one country? Now, this might sound somewhat politically incorrect, but if we were to look at it rationally, wouldn't the extradition law be validating the one country, two systems? So in other words, shouldn't we be supporting this bill? if we were to favor the one country, two systems. Now, if it holds some kind of truth in it, why didn't the government say so in the first place? Why didn't they spend a year or so to educate the public? I mean, call it propaganda, call it marketing. The bottom line is make us feel comfortable. <laughs> Whoever is doing the PR work for the government, well, they're not doing a good job. Ever since Hong Kong has returned to China in 1997, I honestly don't feel any restriction or limitation on my part. Regardless of what the medias are saying these days, I'm pretty sure some would agree with me and some wouldn't. You see, this is exactly why I find politics to be really confusing. And making this video is not exactly easy either. I'm pretty sure so far I sound like a pro-government, but the truth is I agree with them sometimes and I also disagree with them sometimes. All I really care about is making Hong Kong a better place, both economically and socially. Yeah, well, so is everyone else living in Hong Kong. <laughs> For example, the housing problem. You see, general public can't afford to buy a house in Hong Kong. According to a study, it would take them around 30 years to save up enough down payment to buy a tiny little house. So in other words, it's really difficult to have a sense of belonging. So in my opinion this is the root of all social unrest here in Hong Kong and of course property alone is not enough we're talking about upward mobility it is true the government has set up a lot of um, startup fundings but just exactly how much of these monies are actually spent to the new startups or more specifically how much of these monies are going into the local startups well you might argue hey if you don't meet the criteria you don't get the funding. Well, that's true. I can't argue with that. And that's exactly what they said about the housing issue in Hong Kong. That we don't have enough land to build public housing. So the rental goes up by 20% every year, but the salary only goes up by 3% on average. I think it's fair to say the government's job is to think ahead or to plan ahead. For example, if the government forecasts a growth in population, shouldn't they start building more housing? It's a simple demand and supply. But just exactly what have they been doing for the past 20 or so years? I've noticed a lot of these protesters are teenagers or youngsters. Yes, it's true. I don't agree with a lot of their actions, but can we really blame them for being so angry? How I see it, these guys are crying out for help. We may not be able to help them, but at least we could show some sympathy, a little understanding and be more forgiving. These days, we get angry so easily. We argue with our friends because of the political differences. We become more violent towards one another, both physically and verbally. And I think it's time to stop all these violence. It's about time for the government to do something concrete for the people, do things that will make us feel that they care. Guys, I apologize for this video. I wanted to say something different, something about photography. Yes, yeah, so it's without a doubt, I am a total idiot. But that doesn't mean I don't have an opinion. And in case you are wondering, don't worry, Hong Kong is still a very safe place. Anyway guys, thanks for hearing me out. See you guys next week, bye.